Question 29. A molecule of geranium is shown. Mm, this one. What is the form when geranium is react with excess cool dilute acidified uh, chemino 4? Uh, so because it's cold and dilute uh, acidified chemino 4, we know that uh, CC double bond will not totally break. Uh, it's just the uh, pi bonds will open up uh, or break, then eventually uh, it will form diol. Means the pi bonds will gone, right? Pi bonds will gone. And at the same time, uh, this uh, carbon, these two carbon, uh, there will be two OH added in. Uh, so it's actually an oxidized uh, oxidation uh, reaction uh, because uh, two O added, of course, uh, there are two hydrogen also. Uh, no, uh, however, it still undergo oxidation uh, for this uh, molecule. So it's at OH to these two carbon. And of course, these two carbon also uh, two OH will be added, right? So therefore, uh, it will form uh, the molecules uh, A. So it will form these uh, alcohol four alcohol groups. Okay, after it's treated with this cold dilute uh, chemino acidified chemino four, right? Question thirty. Um, so for this one, uh, we have the Q. Uh, is either primary or tertiary halogen alkene uh, and the Q undergo hydrolysis with uh, aqueous sodium hydroxide um, so the first step in the mechanism in this reaction involve two species uh, this one is very important uh, information uh, because when they say involve two species means uh, this must be SN2 uh, so SN2 uh, mechanism uh, always uh, when the reaction started so if you start with two species means SN2 so means the, uh, the the first step here will involve the two species which is the halogenal alkene and the hydroxide something like this and this SN2 only happen to the primary halogenal alkene actually secondary also it can but in your in the syllabus normally they will just focus on primary uh, and the tertiary because secondary ca uh, it can undergo uh, both so uh, therefore we are quite sure uh, primary halogen alkene is the one that undergo SN2 so answer is just A or B now and now it's asking uh, the behavior of hydroxide so because now hydroxide is uh, if you uh, donate electrons to this partial positive carbon to form a new bonding so this one is electron rich species which donates the lone pair uh, to this carbon so we say that this is a nucleophile uh, when it's a electron rich species so this is a nucleophile not electrophile electrophile is the one that needs electron right so therefore answer is very clear is b okay that's all thank you